Hey, hey, everybody, Radaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Oxygen Not Included. So, continuing the project that we've got, the Power Unification Project, let's just keep building. Now, I did want to go over some tips that I didn't go over last time. Uh, one is from Beldra, or something, I probably butchered your name, but um, the newest recruits here, uh, wouldn't wouldn't hurt for them to have some snazzy suits, would it now? Uh, that really does help with morale a bit, so let's see about that. We do have a singular snazzy suit uh, in this crate. As you can see here, uh, we need, I guess, three more than that. So, yeah, I suppose the textile loom is going to have to crank out three more. That's pretty straightforward, I suppose. So we'll get those out. I do have this larger storage area. Uh, there is, of course, room for some additional um, bedrooms if I want. But, uh, you know, even if I don't want the additional bedrooms, uh, that new space is quite nice. Uh, one thing I was going to do is just add in some additional airflow tiles just to facilitate the flow of air so it doesn't get trapped. Uh, so that things like... Um, like carbon dioxide can fall out from the space. All right. So taking a look at the natural gas, this is one of the facilities I was going to make. Uh, I did see some critiques. Some of them were akin to, you know, if you're storing all that hydrogen, you might as well have additional hydrogen uh, production. Yes, I could add some additional hydrogen generators. And this space over here was sort of left empty uh, as a result of that, right? I can always put hydrogen generators over here if I want. We have a new printable. I'm going to print out some arbitraries, or at least the acorns. Uh, so here we go. If we wanted the two new generators, uh, not out of iron ore though. If we wanted the two new generators, we can plop them up there. One and two, and then continue the mesh tile so that the waste water spills out. We don't want to collect it uh, for probably pretty obvious reasons. And then the wastewater will pool down here. And the carbon dioxide, as you can see from these gas pipe, uh, can be collected and vented out. Well, you know, to space. Um, so if we want to bring it out to space, I'm going to have to send it. Hmm, well, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? That is a bit of a hiccup. That's fine. This hiccup can be solved. Uh, let's bump this out by one. And make this our new top priority. The reason I'm doing this is if you have two pipes side by side, in parallel, you really can't bridge across them. Uh, there is no, like, a two-part bridge or anything like that. It actually looks like I'm running a bit of a power shortage. Is this true? It probably is. I'm probably out of hydrogen, and as a result, not really able to generate enough power to upkeep. Um, let's see about cutting out some additional power usage, if I can. Uh, I don't need a stone hatch incubated. So that's something I can most assuredly do without. And disable this building, save me uh, a little bit of a little bit of power. Um, the heat is circulating, but not generating steam. We are a few degrees under uh, generation temperatures. I could, I could uh, uncap these high pressure gas vents. Uh, but if we don't have enough power to start electrolyzing, that's not really going to help. Oh, actually, we are electrolyzing. I take that back. Uh, I guess we're fine. As soon as these guys probably started running on the treadmill, it became a non-issue. But it does uh, signal that it would be good for me to start a... You know, or not start, but continue the unified power grid. Really, as soon as I can, because the longer I wait, the more painful it's going to be. Uh, taking a look at the power here, I did reroute power 
to be sort of below just aesthetics. Purely aesthetics, but uh, I set that up nonetheless. And then our new insulated gas pump line now runs uninterrupted and we can allow the carbon dioxide dump let me reroute that so it's a little cleaner the carbon dioxide dumping line to run up to space this way so it's going to hop once and then it's going to hop again like that and that way the this gas uh, this this uh, vent actually this ventilation line I'm not really sure needs to be well no I guess we need to bring oxygen up to our observatory level so that does still serve a purpose um, this bridge is a little weird uh, we could actually get rid of this gas bridge altogether and I'll go ahead and do that all right so this pipe here is just for unwanted uh, carbon dioxide. I'm not exactly sure where to put it because I haven't really decided where um, my space observatory area is going to be. But for now, for now, at least I could decide to plop it out there and I can always move it later if I need to. Uh, looking at the gas pipes. All right. Let's have a no bridge, no unnecessary bridge if we don't need one. So this is... Look at that. It's already delivered hydrogen. The generator's idle because the batteries are full. The batteries are going to... I'm just going to disable the high thresholds because I don't want them to charge up. As right now they're just set to generate heat. Uh, the hydrogen in there is only 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's not really a temperature I would find uh, dangerous. But if and when we do need to cool down the... Uh, hydrogen tanks, uh, hydrogen gas is a perfect uh, gas to put our Weezworts into. So that is no problem at all. And my natural gas is not super hot either. Uh... Alright, so over here on this side of the uh, structure here, what I'm going to put is... Let's see, something like this and this. So these are, I bet you could guess, uh, two spots for smart batteries so that I can control the power run. And then maybe up here, I'm going to, where does the connection go? Because, of course, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. this all should eventually be interconnected. So, scratch that. I'm going to push this over by one. Just to look a little better. And uh, I certainly have no lack of real estate. All right, we'll put ladders in here on this side, too. And in fact, hmm, you know, I could actually have it just be a wall. Let's do that instead. Sorry, guys. Sorry. You know, changing my mind. Changing my mind. Should have had a better idea. All right, so we'll put one better here. And one better here. Even up higher. Top and bottom. Voila. And then they can be shelved. And the power can run through here. And right here can be our joint plate. Alright. Well, if that's the case, and this is made out of lead. Yep, lead. And then automation wires. Perfect. So now, uh, each of these natural gas generators can be automated to a certain power level. And the power flows and connects this to this. Uh, the only thing that this is missing here is the station. And I'm going to want to add that. 
And as you can see, I didn't really leave room for it. Go me. Uh, let's see what I can do about that. So the station looks a lot larger than it physically is. It would fit here, something like this. Um, I could... Yeah, I could destroy this and put it in. Alright, we'll get that in there shortly for you. And then once this is fully connected to the main trunk, or whatever you want to call it, I don't care what you call it, but as soon as this is connected over here, uh, all of this can start producing power for us. Another thing that we're going to need to do is the same sort of um, pumping setup. Uh, so let go, let's go do that. It'll look a little messy, but that's all right. All right, we can use insulated gas pipes if we want. It doesn't really matter. That one's there. And there. Voila. And then these, likewise, are going to be plugged in to this transformer line. Uh, back to the stations. Power control station could go here. It's really not an issue because the ladders can go up and above and over. And even cut out like that. And this is perfectly reachable as soon as this ladder gets built. Which, we can prioritize by giving it a good old 7. New printables. I guess print and fertilizer. Alright, and soon we'll be turning this natural gas. And we'll be turning the uh, hydrogen into a power source. This hydrogen is already a quarter used. Now, I could also start tapping other hydrogen sources. Um, I could just as easily, and let's let's demo this, I could just as easily uh, put in a pump here that is on all the time. And that will claim, reclaim some of the hydrogen that um, spilled out when we first tapped the geyser. There is no problem with that. That was uh, Clint's idea. Or at least request, I should say. Uh, and then once I see that this pool of hydrogen is has collapsed, I can just disassemble that. Because, of course, it will shunt out the oxygen here. And you could do this anywhere. As long as you think that the body of resources is rich enough um, to warrant, you know, collection... Uh, let me explain this better. So this little cloud here might not be worth pumping. Uh, but if there was a much larger cloud, if I could find... Well, let's say we want a carbon dioxide. Obviously, there's a lot of carbon dioxide down here, sequestered. Uh, we could tap into that. No problem at all. No problem at all. Oh, you can even see the water condensing from steam. Yeah, it comes out of steam and then condenses. So it's just going to be raining... Gently over here. And then down here, uh, what we'd want is... Maybe something like a water pump. A liquid pump. To collect the pooled, uh, polluted water. But there's the power control station, and I'm not going to give this power control station a material until the whole setup's ready to go. There's really, I don't find it much of a point to jump the gun on that. Alright, and 
let's bring over heavy wet wire all the way over. And that heavy wet wire is as soon as it's plugged in and as soon as the rest of it is plugged in, uh, we will be generating power. Good, clean power. Well, uh, sort of. I mean, natural gas runs a little dirty, actually. It's, 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 I take back calling it clean. Uh, formally, I, I reject my claim that it is clean. It is not. Uh, this is going to be unreachable for obvious reasons. I walled it off. As soon as I break this open, um, I will be... Uh, I will be venting out, so I need to replace these walls as soon as the job is done. And for that end, uh, to that end, I should say, I'm going to put it as a super, super, super high priority so I can remember to do it and replace it. Ooh, it is cold here, isn't it? Uh, so let's take a look at the, okay, the Wheeze Warts did give up. Sometimes the body temperature of the Wheeze Warts, um, if you uproot and reroute them, you can briefly get some activity out of them, which is what I did. And now I'm uh, doing the same thing over and over and over again until the hydrogen in that area is not cooking. All right, so there's still the raw granite, but I want to get the vat gas vent. As you can see, it's not like a, a dangerous uh, depressurization event. As you can see, the it is trickling out. We take a look at the gas overlay. Uh, this is trickling out, sure. Um, but it's not, it's not rapid. It's not like all of my air is going to get sucked out. Which, you know, arguably maybe it should be, but I'm glad those phys physics don't really exist the way they are. So, here you go. Now you've got the natural gas, and you can see the natural gas is already dumping some polluted water. Now one of the things that we can do to prevent this polluted water from outgassing is to just keep this area sort of naturally pressurized. A high-pressured area is going to prevent the natural, uh, the, the polluted water from, you know, farting, so to speak. But uh, they only really fart in bottled form. So, it's only if we, if we mop it up, that would be the case. So let's go cap this vent out again. And now we have a place for all of our carbon dioxide to be, well, dumped. I don't want it. If some point in the future I want it, I could do something with it. But for now, uh, I just want to get rid of it. So all of the carbon dioxide that outgasses out of the natural gas uh, will just get dumped out. And the polluted water that we are going to collect here. And let me set the high pra parameters here. The polluted water that we're inevitably going to collect... Um, Okay, I'll just disable this. Uh, should be pumped in and then sent for filtering. So eventually, this was the intake line. Yes, this is the old intake line. Uh, instead of this being our, instead of this line here being for our uh, our petroleum, I'm going to repurpose it for the polluted water for the natural gas generation. Now, as you can see, it is all in interconnected um, up until this point here. Uh, let me get these built as a priority. As soon as these are built, the hydrogen generators are on our main grid. As you can see, the main grid extends out to here and stops right there. But this main grid is the same main grid that goes all the way, eventually, over to the steam. It's all the same wired network. The same heavy watt wired network. I only have one heavy watt wired network in my entire base. And it just snakes around hitting all the high priority stuff like the manual generators and a bunch of the um, high powered stuff like the desalinator and eventually coming up here. So actually the hydrogen is now interconnected too. So high thresholds, I could say 95 and uh, 95, which means that the hydrogen will be used as a power source uh, pretty much always, right? These are pretty much always going to be on. Uh, the next thing I could do here is 
I am going to need to shut off my electrolyzers. Entirely. Because I need to now reroute where my hydrogen goes. Right? Uh, the hydrogen no longer is going to be sent to these tanks. I know. Crazy, right? We had a whole system and everything. Uh, all of this here is about to get broken. I just, I just made it obsolete. Totally, totally, totally obsolete. Does it hurt your feelings? Maybe. Maybe. Why are these idle? I don't even know. But, uh, yeah, let's break that down. So, uh, I am going to need to send my hydrogen. Don't really need this bridge, do we? I need to send my hydrogen up top. So this line here is for natural gas. And then next to it is going to be for hydrogen. And I'm going to run that all the way up. Just like I did the natural gas. So let's go ahead and start to put that line in. And again, I want to space it out so it's not too clustered. And I will replace a lot of that line there. Done. And this is going to have to make its run all the way over to the hydrogen. And then potentially through this filter too. Put it behind the filter so this filter can act as a uh, filtration device for the hydrogen. Which means maybe not up that high. Maybe not up that high. All right, well, that's a lot of building. And then, on top of that, all of these old gas reservoirs get broken down for their raw materials. And this whole area is going to be entirely repurposed. I mean, that's kind of the point of moving my entire power grid, is I get to reclaim a large swath of this. So, I'm not sure what it's going to be designed into. Maybe a more productive uh, farm or something? Variety of food? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided that yet. What I do know is uh, it's going to be all broken down. That I know for sure. So I'm not going to turn the electrolyzers back on until we have a full run from here all the way up to storage. And I'm going to keep it in insulated pipes uh, so that the heat of the electrolyzing hydrogen, or electrolyzed hydrogen, I should say, is not, uh, you know, a, a detriment to the environment. Something akin to that. Alright, this is a huge, huge run. Uh, had I known that I was going to redo this project, I would have, um, well, I would have probably relocated the electrolyzer but I'm not oh that's the wrong that should be ventilation I'm not gonna bother doing that relocating the electrolyzer that is or the uh, electrolysis area uh, I just don't I guess I'll take a pip squeak but not a live one all right well they're gonna get that built I'll take a bit but they'll get that built uh, let's run this line as a 7, because the electrolysis is kind of on hold until this is built. And it would be good if we, uh, you know, if we had that completed. Wow, the plumbing line's already done. Uh, then we have to also decide how this is going to power on. And I'm going to put this on uh, a different line. I'm not going to put this on the main line. I don't think uh, we need to tie up the main line for this or anything. So there it is. The pump for the polluted water. And this is going to prevent it from overflowing and being a mess. Whatever. But that is pretty pretty basic setup for both natural gas and hydrogen. Not a lot of bells and whistles, I'll grant you, but it'll have to do. Right, taking a look at ventilation. Uh, looks like the old generators are totally and utterly empty. 
I'm going to start breaking down all the things that used to be here. Then also taking a look at the power. Oh boy, is that ever a mess. Um, I can fix this joint plated nonsense now that I don't have a lot of needs in this area. I'm also going to break down these batteries. And then we're, we're going to have a lot of wires to clean up. Uh, trying to think of the neatest way to clean these wires up. Uh, one way, I'm just going to make minor improvements. It's not going to be night and day. Here's one way. Should clean it up pretty significantly. Alright. Because, yeah, there's a lot of leftover, like, just heavy watt lines and, and the like. Um, do I have a Dreco that is ending, nearing end of life? Come on, let me click the Dreco. Okay, well apparently that Dreco does not exist. 60... Uh, you're old. I'll take care... I'll take you out. There's a few oldies in here. A lot of youngins. But a few oldies. Alright, so I'll just keep incubating the, the glossies. Alright, so taking a look at the ventilation line. This is a solid run. This filters for oxygen. Yep. If oxygen, go down to the oxygen tanks. I also could store oxygen, too. Um, and store it in a tank, much the way I'm doing everything else, so that in the case that I want to temperature control it, like, gases that are stored in the open like this are much easier to change temperature with, like, wheeze, automated wheeze warts or or aqua tuning or you know whatever whereas if you if it's in a tank itself it's a, it's a little bit challenging because you you either need it to be uh you need it to be circulating like this so that the temperatures even out because if it's stagnant in a tank it's not really going to even out its temperatures that's just not really how the thermal dynamics of the game works not 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 to any useful degree, at least. All right, so here you go. Uh, these hydrogen generators are now kicking. So let's go put lead here. Use refined lead. And one of the things I could do is put a storage bin of lead right here to allow these stations to, you know, have lead on hand. And that way they can be tuned up quicker. Not having to resource materials from afar. Alright, so this hydrogen vent is uh, overpressured. And that should maybe allow the wheeze warts a little leeway in order to bring the temperature down. Uh, what I'm going to do so that it doesn't... So that we're capturing um, hydrogen sooner is create the bridge. Because uh, I want this hydrogen. It would be good for me to have it. But... Um, Yes. I can also cool down this hydrogen as well uh, using some of the wheeze warts I've gotten. Wow, that's cool. Cool steam vent. Really created a lot of water pretty quickly. Um, because the colder it is, the more dense it can be. So there's a bit of an advantage to that. Alright, so we'll get that wheeze wart. And that wasn't even the cold biome I was talking about. I was talking about this one. Uh, which has at least two more wheeze warts and another thermal nullifier. Done. And then the other one will probably be a ladder. Oops. Operation ladder. Alright. These are pretty low priority, so I'm not going to give it a higher priority or anything like that. Alright, 
making sure that this is all one big network. Yep, still one big network. Obviously a very, very, very messy one that needs cleaning, as I mentioned. And I will be doing that soon. So another way to clean this up is to run this wire over here so that the heavy watt line can run outside the base here. Put a joint plate right here. And then the line doesn't have to ha continually interrupt walls and the like. It'll just run outside. That would be good. All right, this water's ready to go. Flush. Uh, this should be pulling... Oh, yes. So the... Uh, I'm going to set this to higher. Uh, the pump is getting damaged. And is about to be disabled, in fact. So I set it to a really, really, really high priority because, of course, we do want uh, power generating gases to be accumulating. And the natural gas geyser is about to go off in just a few cycles. Alright, so we're still waiting on the ventilation. But that should be done maybe this cycle. Yeah, it's going to be done this cycle. I did make it insulated, so it takes a little bit more manual labor to get it done. Which is why uh, it took so long. It's more materials. If you check here, of course, uh, it will tell you. Um, 400 per block of uh, insulated and 25... So yes, it's a little bit more material. I'm not worried about running out of materials. I mean, I obviously have an insane uh, excess of like simple rocks, you know, igneous and the like, granite. Uh, but the amount that one dupe can carry to deliver for construction is less, and so on and so forth. I mean, there's that's that's why. So we do have a steady flow of hydrogen coming in, and that uh, gas pump has been repaired. The wheeze boards are still active because I keep replanting them. And I'll probably come up with a better solution here, like having a, uh, a larger capacity, a larger body to store the hydrogen before we pump it or something. As long as the geyser is not idle, it's not like I'm losing efficiency at the end of the day. Let's get that set up. And I'm actually going to stick this as a 9 just because I'm impatient and would like to repaint. Because there is a lot of ugliness here that we could obviously fix. And I'd be eager to do so. So this should be back up to 8. 8. Uh, this might be 7. No, it's 8 as well. Are you still actually pumping? Okay, no, you're not. You're just being dumb. YouTube comments was right. I, 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 I forgot what told, but I told one of you all. I'm sorry, I'm not accrediting you, that the lick pump looks like it was done. And I was like, oh no, it looks like it's still pumping something. I was very, very, very wrong, and I apologize to you, sir. It was done, and it was doing nothing. It was just sitting there like a stupid pump doing nothing. Uh, blueprint. I guess a Drecklet. Bye bye, Drecklet. As far as skills go, Dayman, you're going to get extra suit wearing. Paddy Wagon, you do already have it. Uh, did we end up textiling those clothing? Let's see. Clothing, snazzy suits. Yes. They're in here, or at least some of them are. Yep, all of them are. One, two, three. And then put it back as an allowable storage. Perfect. So we have snazzy suits for everyone. 
Time for a true dinner party. It also looks like, um... My KCAL for mushrooms is actually pretty high. We also have a lot of raw eggs in a refrigerator. Oh, you know what? This conveyor loader doesn't need to exist. I don't know what's in there. But, uh, obviously, it has no use. We're no longer feeding the pokey, by the way. That's why. Uh, mopping. Mop this. Destroy that. Swell. Alright, taking a look. Looks like finally the insulated gas pipes. Oh my god, you're still not done. I spoke too soon. Alright, let's make the storage bin. And let's also, for now, I'm just going to happily... Let's space them out a little bit, but happily just put a bunch of my excess Weezworts in here because the colder this temperature is, the more gas it will store per square tile because pooled gases can be denser. Hope I didn't just blow anyone's mind, but yeah, I mean, that's how gas works. Oh, uh, yeah, we really want the, um, we're really going to want the, uh, the, the lines done soon because our, uh, electrolyzers... Okay, so th this is actually kind of critical. I'll, I'll set this to true night. Uh, we are running out of oxygen for our suits. And without this uh, line being done, we are not going to get uh, our suit oxygen refilled. Um, I could actually start the electrolyzers back up to start refilling the suits, but then the, the, car uh, the hydrogen that we generate doesn't really go anywhere. It just goes to the end of this, like, pipe wherever this leads i don't know where it will it would stop like here that's better than not having oxygen in our suits i guess uh alternatively i could have turned this on this was our backup that we made a long time ago for when our uh electrolyzers couldn't run and i can i can use the backup briefly because that's exactly what it's for producing oxygen when my electrolyzers are unable. But yeah, the electrolyzers are now full flow pumping, so that shouldn't be much of an issue. Um, there's still hydrogen collecting here. Uh, this ventilation could just be normal, I guess. But let's get that built. Alright, so traveling up here. Yeah, we still haven't built this. Jeez. It is a little far from the main airlock. So, I understand. Plus, I've prioritized other projects. So, the um, this electrical line can be destroyed. And then I'll replace it with, like, the main trunk. And then have bridges here and here. Uh, in fact, do we need... No, we currently don't. Okay. Think of that aloud. Uh, this amount of wiring here could be temporarily removed. We're going to rerun a lot of this. All right. Deliver. I don't even know. Oh, the hydrogen is just stopping at the, uh... Yeah, it's okay. It's backed up now. Oh, boy. Uh, this is getting backed up, too. So let me stop this as well. Set this to 6,000. Because it's going to start getting dropped into our vents as you can see it, it it's backed up so it's getting vented here which is hydrogen is being collected here as a as a net result so we don't want it to flow anymore so this line needs to be reversed all these pipes can get torn out 
And we still need that stupid ventilation up here to be done. Oh god, they're just seconds away from being done. I think that's it. I think it's done. Yep, it's done and it's moving. Uh... All right, awesome. Well, that fixes a lot of problems. And then this needs directionality, so let's give it uh, a direction. I think I can do it behind it like that, I hope. We'll see, we'll see. Come on. And then the line from our guys over here can... I'll probably eventually want to insulate it. But then can join over here and uh, travel to the top storage as well. Nope, oh, it's being dumb. All right, uh, let's break this down. Now I understand why I had the uh, the gas bridge right here. Totally, totally, totally understand. Set this to priority nine and more nines just because I want to see it finished, you know, before the end of my lifetime, right? A joke. All right, seven point four kilograms. Come on, guys. Build, build, build. Oh my god, just one dupe. Please. Who will it be? Alright, so I obviously disrupted some power down here. And I do intend to put this back. Um, I deleted it so that we could make a clean run. Uh, and it should, this clean run should look like this. Right. So now... I think the ventilation is done, except for the fact that something is... Why is that backing up? It's hard to tell, right, because of the bridges, but... Oh, yeah, it's missing pipes. Well, maybe it's not missing pipes, I'm upgrading it to igneous, or to insulated, but... We'll add pipes anyway, because maybe that will help. Yep, there it goes. Free flowing. Alright, at this point, I do believe that... Um, well, let's go ahead and insulate this. That way it's not dumping heat into our base. But we could do that kind of casually. I'm not going to set that to five. So now, uh, all of the hydrogen in the entire base ends up being dumped to this this storage pool. And then we generate power on it. Awesome. Uh, skill point earned. Damien, you are going to be a plumber as well. And Paddywagon, you are... 
as well. Awesome. All right, looks like our pump is pumping and has a clear run. Oh yeah, there it goes. You can actually see what it had pumped. It has a clear run all the way down to our water filtration. So that's perfect, that's what we want. And then another little side project was to clean up the um, the really, 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 really ugly power grid, correct? So let's do that. So this means we are gonna want a, a few wire bridges, one uh, here, like that, and one, as soon as it's done auto-saving here, like, well, let's build it first and then de delete the old one, like that. And that will allow this power, heavy watt line, to run all the way down here and then pick up uh, these transformers. Uh, we're also gonna want a bridge here as well, I suppose. Right, so, as you can see, this heavy watt line will be able to cross over where these bridges previously were. And then we'll be able to hook up to the lines from down here. So I'll put like a joint plate uh, here instead, and maybe here instead. And that will just be a lot cleaner. And then we could continually, honestly, we could just continually clean it up as time goes on. Um, you know, making it look nicer and nicer and nicer. So this transformer here is going to be replaced with the one just over, over yonder. This one. Uh... And we'll get that ready to get plugged in. So now all of this cabling, let's set to seven. And I'm gonna have this episode run a little longer, just cause I'd like to see the finish of some of these projects. Uh, let's print copper. Sure, why not? All right. Looks like I have a lot of uh, hydrogen. There is no shortage of it. And soon, natural gas. I believe this is erupting now. Yep, that is erupting. That's a really beautiful thing. Now, one of the other things I want to do is I should probably have, and this will cause a, this will be a little troublesome, but I should have an Atmos sensor here to shut things off uh, when they're getting too full, right? Because if I just, if I perpetually push hydrogen into the air, it could overpressurize and then back up through the filtration vents and then spew whatever gas they were transforming be a bit of a problem. And I don't want that. I, uh, I definitely don't want that. All right, taking a look at my power grid, but I'm focusing on rerouting this power first. Because it was hideous. Alright, so all of this soon will be, all of this crud soon will be um, unnecessary. As soon as this bit is done. And that's very exciting because then I can actually reuse this spot and it won't be hideous the way it, it currently is. Uh, automation wires can be got rid of. I, I'm also going to need to move coal. I, I think that was probably going to be obvious, but yeah, that's another thing that needs to happen. All right. And as you can see, now I'm running this heavy watt line underneath 
so I could take it out of the ugliness here. So this, like, this metal refinery line will can be fed cleanly and not hideously, right? I mean, it's a big, big change. So, at this point, uh, all of this down here is no longer necessary. And to power on, yep, this is actually not necessary either, this heavy watt bridge. Uh, what line is running underneath that? Oh, yeah, because the bridge is, yeah, okay. So, that's going to need to get plugged back in. But, uh, let's set this to 8. Alright. All of these joint plates can get broken down. And they're, they're pretty ugly, as far as, you know, what my dupes prefer to look at. And replaced with very... By comparison, much more attractive tiles. Uh, let's replace the floor here. And then run power to that transformer. Alright, these old lines, old watt lines, uh, at least these can be dismantled. I'm going to dismantle the ones that fed the incubators. Uh, I could do that better, cleaner, somehow. Alright, so, at this point, uh, this needs to get broken down this power transformer. And this is going to be an 8 task. This is, uh, is that unreachable? Might be. Alright, taking a look. We've got... This transformer is still necessary. I don't like its placement. Uh, and I might change where it's placed. I'll, I'll, like I said, I'm gonna have to constantly reanalyze the locations of these things to make sure that I, you know, there is not more simple, easy tidying up to do. I will say that if you really want to make it look nice, you kind of have to redo it all. And what I'm trying to do is like bang for your buck, uh, easy redesigning rather than like the massive important overhaul that it might need if if uh if that makes sense like there's the must be done because it's hideous and the like oh it's it's okay like let's tidy it up type priorities and i'm having to balance out those two all right so once this bottom section is uh plugged back in uh that will signal in the end of this episode so let me deconstruct these bad boys uh, our suit docks no longer have power, but I think that's just because, so that's a bit of an issue, because I think that's on account of, where's this, uh, where's this transformer? This transformer exists, I think it was this one, actually, driving it, so, and we can't get there, uh, so that, yeah, that, 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 that's the problem, um, if I, if I break some of these tiles, we'll be able to build from the top, looking down. And then we'll be able to finish this wire without actually having gone down there, which is, uh, there. Now the suit docks have power, or should. Is that a different line? Was that a different line? Oh, man, it is. Okay, so this line is being fed by this transformer. Uh, so we actually we could use the same sort of uh, tactics doing this oddly enough but that's that's why we haven't gotten it done All right, so we'll be able to reach up and we won't just just want it high enough that we this is a reachable build but no higher that we can't escape.
is, yeah, everyone's, oh, yep, yeah, you can escape. Uh, let me force you back in. I'm gonna have to juggle dupes for a bit. Oh, boy. Um, priority, emergency, here. Right now, I'm just kind of tossing them back in the base so they can't get themselves somewhere where they'll freeze or burn or something like that. So anyone that is currently jumping out of this base, I have to juggle herding cats, right? Herding cats. Before they fire pole into their doom. It also looks like there's something... Oh, right, they're getting their feet wet because they're going through the airlock without suits on. Come on, stop it. <laughs> they're all like, let me out, let me out. I don't know where they're going. Uh, ranching? If you look at the priorities, they'll kind of tell you where they're headed. Alright, there we go. Now someone's building it. Alright, so now that allows our suit dock to have power. And all these dupes here that are trying to escape, like convicts, can get wound up, riled up, whatever, gathered up. We just need to build this bad boy, like, immediately. And now, no one can escape. Good. And I don't believe... Oh, no, you got out. Okay, let's put you back in. Alright, let's take a look. The previously very, very, very hideous heavy watt lines that were kind of running everywhere around the base uh, are no longer. And there's just a little bit more cleanup I need to do. Now this, uh, this coal here, I'm going to just flatly disable. And deconstruct, actually. Because it is not connected to a battery and it does not know when it should go on or off. And coal power is only our backups. So let's... I'm not using the, um... up. Alright, let's... Last little project before I'm done. This is it. You're gonna get a full hour episode. Hope you made time. <laughs> Alright, so obviously there's a way out now, because I put giant holes in the base. Let's fill those up. And take a look at the power. And as you can see, we're driving power underneath uh, the map tile a little bit, which I feel like was kind of clever. Uh, this is unreachable. So let's dig a little down and put a ladder here. And then we should be able to get to that. And then that allows us to put power down to the steam. The steam right now is disabled. So this is an important build, as you can imagine. Because without this delivered, uh, the steam is disconnected from the rest of the grid. Come on. Now you're building it. Good. Now the steam's reconnected, and uh, when the steam generator is running, our uh, our batteries everywhere around the map can be charged. Um, check the automation wires for here. So these automation wires are. This is just more battery banking. Um, just so that we could store more than what we initially had. And then, as a result of all of our rewiring, uh, obviously, this is not the prettiest wiring ever. And a lot of it could be embedded in the walls and floors. Uh, but this whole area here has been gutted. Has totally had all of its 
high tension wiring removed and as a result is a not necessarily ugly place or it doesn't need to be an ugly place it has been redeemed to some degree or another all right i did a whole lot of sort of tidying up maintenance type stuff but not a lot of big projects we did unify our power grid and get those plugged on but i was pretty close to that being done now all i have to do is set out the smart battery automation lines for that stuff um next episode oh i don't know i don't know maybe we use the new found power for transport uh for the tubes uh, what are they called um transit tubes so that we can move up and down quickly in order to support uh, space travel, perhaps? I don't know. You guys tell me. What do you really, really, really want to see? Do you want me to, to harness a volcano or to do transit tubing or, you know, something like that? If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you all next episode. Farewell, everybody.